Hey there guys, today we'll be painting Vitanis the Warlock from Reaper Miniatures to the Ultimate Level Standard. The first thing we'll do is get a scalpel or other sharp blade and gently trim the casting line off of the model. Make sure you take care during this step and always cut away from yourself. Ultimate Level Miniatures come with a base and a little pot of gravel. Use some super glue to stick him to his base. Then, add some more super glue around the top of the base and sprinkle some of the gravel on top. When that is set, add a little more super glue and then dip him in salt to fill in the gaps. I've base coated the entire model with Noir Black using my airbrush, but you can do this by hand if you prefer. Let's get the messy stuff out of the way first. Mix carbon grey with polished bone using an old brush. Wipe most of this off on a rag and then lightly dry brush the top of the base to bring out the detail. Tidy up any overspill with Noir Black again. Let's do his robes first as they're the largest area on the model. Mix half and half noir black and carbon grey. Paint the raised folds of his robes with this, leaving the noir black undercoat in the shadows and recesses. Layer this again with carbon grey on its own, painting a smaller area this time and allowing a gradual transition between colours. Finally, mix a little polished bone into the carbon grey and paint only the highest parts of the folds. Base coat his skin with crimson red. Then, mix some brilliant red into this and... Oops. Make sure you have him correctly secured in your painting handle so you don't yeet him across the room. So, where were we? Mix some brilliant red in and start to layer up his musculature, leaving the base coat showing on the underside of his arm for example, where shadows would fall. Repeat this step with more brilliant red, painting a smaller area each time, aiming for a smooth transition to the highest points of each muscle and facial feature. Finally, highlight his nose, cheekbones and ears with brilliant red on its own. Base coat is sash with witchcraft purple. Layer this up with a mix of witchcraft purple and runic purple.
Finally, highlight this with runic purple all its own. Base coat is metal bits with a mix of noir black and cold iron. Layer this with cold iron by itself. Finally, add a little skeleton key into the cold iron and paint a thin highlight line along all the sharp edges where the light would catch. Paint all these leather areas with ruddy flesh. You might need two thin coats to get a consistent colour. Layer this up with a mix of ruddy flesh and polished bone. Paint his bone and horn areas with a mix of ruddy flesh and aged bone. Layer this up with aged bone. Finally, highlight the sharpest points with polished bone. And with that, the model is done. Now don't forget to like and subscribe, check out our other videos and we will see you next time.